studies are underway to see which intersections on Oahu should get a red light camera. The cameras will ticket the owner of the vehicle rather than the driver. Bryce Moore follows up. One of the intersections being looked at is here at Pi'ikoi in Baratania. Officials are hoping to narrow down 10 locations to install these cameras from a list of 14, saying it's all in the name of safety. The only time it would trigger is if there was a traffic violation. So that's when the photo would be taken. It's not automatic in the sense that um, the machine writes the ticket itself and then sends it to you. There is a human in between saying, OK, here's, here's what the camera caught. Yeah, that's a violation. The project raises questions, though, like what if a friend is borrowing your car or what if it's stolen? Well, the owner is still technically responsible, but if you went to court and said my car was stolen, the proof was still be on the government to demonstrate that your car was the one that ran the red light and you were the one who should be responsible. Drivers I spoke with say they understand how cameras will deter violations, but may second guess letting friends behind the wheel. But it also could be, I guess, hard on other people that do let others borrow their own car. So that's just like the concern. I don't think that's fair. <laughs> how come? Um, because I have other people that drive my car too. So I think it should be for whoever was actually driving the car, not the owner of the car. The engineering studies are expected to be completed in March with citations coming out by May. We'll keep track of how the project progresses and let you know where the cameras will be installed. Bryce Moore, KH12 News, working for Hawaii.